She always used to tell me, Alyssa, smile. Everything's going to be okay. 15-year-old Kira Molina is now another fatality blamed on this year's flu. January 30th at 7.07 a.m., Ms. Molina succumbed to liver failure due to the flu. The Centers for Disease Control reports there have been 63 child deaths so far this season, a number that is comparatively better than some years, but that does not ease the pain of loss. It's sad, and her family and me, it's hard, so hard. But Kira will always hold a place in my heart. The growing numbers of sick children have led entire school systems to shut down, including some in Illinois and Alabama. Other schools are being vigilant. Nearly 25% of our students um, were absent, with the majority of them with flu, flu-like, cold-like symptoms. It's an alarming situation for many. It was one of the worst experiences of my life. It was, the pain was like bone deep. I could not move. I didn't want to eat. Uh, it's like my head uh, ached. It, it was, there's no describing it. I've just been watching the news and seeing a lot of people from various ages of infancy to adults succumbing to the flu. And so with me having fought two bouts in three weeks, I was very um, afraid. I was getting my hair cut the other day and the, the place that I went to, the uh, they all had masks on and they said, well, we're not sick, but we see a lot of people and we just want to stay safe. The CDC says this flu season has been driven by a nasty type of flu that tends to put more people in the hospital and cause more deaths than other common flu bugs. Some doctors say this is the worst flu season they've seen in decades. Marina Hutchinson, The Associated Press.